Early this year, Victoria's Secret announced that their annual fashion show would be back after a six-year hiatus. The brand had to cancel the show in 2019 due to low ratings, controversial comments made by Drasek, prior CMO of the brand, and more shenanigans. But overall, the main real reason was that Victoria's Secret was just not selling anymore. The stores were not selling, and by extension, neither did the show. And by 2020, the brand declared bankruptcy and the whole head team was fired. People said that all of this happened because they refused to adopt inclusivity and yes, that is a reason. The brand was heavily marketed under the male gaze and people were becoming more woke. Uh, but I think the issue was wider than that. The Victoria's Secret fashion show was above all things a TV show. And as all TV shows were in the mid to late 2010s, they were all affected by the streaming services and social media in general. If you were part of the fandom during this time, you know that the claiming for the show to be on streaming was huge, but CBS, as most of the networks at the time, refused to. And mind you, the show was aired like a whole month after it was made, so by that point you could have seen all the photos and videos of the show already on Instagram. Social media also gave people more access to fashion, People started to watch high fashion shows and were developing taste, so they, they were not gagging when they saw these t-shirts, I'll, I'll tell you that. All of this contributed to the fall of Victoria's Secret, so they went into obscurity for a while. So after a fail attempt last year to rebrand the show as this um, Savage Fenty show ripoff, they said that the show as we know it would be finally back. And uh, I had my concerns. <laughs> I was excited, sure, but I, I had my concerns because Victoria's Secret as we know it is no longer here. The administration is completely different, CBS is no longer producing it, the whole angels thing is gone, we now have like brand ambassadors, something like that, and overall the current state of the modeling industry is not a good one. There was little to no marketing for this, there was no lineup announcement which is crazy considering the, the models that ended up walking for this and they also said that this was going to be live streamed which could backfire and spoiler alert it, it did there was there were many red flags about this whole thing but i i, I had an open mind okay uh i wanted it to be good i was a victoria's secret fan growing up uh, i wanted it to be good so i watched the show yesterday and it was not good <laughs> Let's start with what's obviously its biggest problem and that is that Victoria's Secret is broke, they are broke and they are clearly on a budget, they had no fantasy bra, they had no big shiny runway or backstage, the designs were very pedestrian, they even reused some of the old wings and the new ones were so basic and listen. Victoria's Secret was never a fashion forward brand or anything like that. But most of the times they had their shit together, okay? They their shit looked expensive. Like 2012, they had that shit on. But this whole show looks like a show made by the blondes or a random New York brand sponsored by Mercedes Benz. You know what I'm talking about. They clearly spent their entire budget on the cast and they didn't even take good advantage of that. The runway looked hideous, it was so wide, so simple and had these lines from the platform which made it look so ugly. The, the, the runway is supposed to make the models look like this out of this world goddesses but instead here they look so small and nothing special. It made everything look so flat and honestly lifeless. Say what you want about the old shows, but they were very bright, colorful, campy and, and, and even cozy in a, in a weird way. What's also very clear to me is that the brand has lost a lot of power and control in general, but especially over the show. Because not even when Taylor freaking Swift was on their runway, they made it entirely about her. The focus was always on the runway, on the models, on the angels. Victoria's Secret was always the main character. So it was funny how they spent their entire beginning of the show with 
a Lisa performance that had little to nothing to do with the show. It just it, it just really felt out of place. It was just a performance that we could have seen in any other place. The camera work also seemed very unrehearsed. A, a live stream must be very rehearsed. Otherwise, the pacing of it is going to feel awkward and long, which it did. And, and some of the shots that I say were so flat. I saw a tweet saying that this show felt like it was directed by straight men. And, and I believe it. I, I'm, I'm sure. I believe it. And they said that this took seven months to make. Like, that's bullshit. After watching this, I, I think I prefer a recorded version way better. So Gigi Hadid opened the show and and that's a sentence that I never thought I would say, by the way. No hate to her, I love her. But she did seem uncomfortable and very low energy. The, the wings were clearly heavy and the fact that this was a live stream didn't help her. Uh, I do think that she could give us a good opening, but not under these conditions. No, maybe next time. Maybe next time. So many iconic models were so underutilized, like Alessandra, Dodson, Behati, Lee Wen, and and do not get me started about Tyra. I was so pissed about that. Why bring so many icons back if you are not gonna give them the respect they deserve? Like they 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 really played on Alessandra's face, like. I don't get why she agreed to come back. They clearly never liked her like that. They they have screwed her many times. Like, Alexandra, please have some dignity. I, I don't get it. But let's talk about the highlights of the show, okay? Like, Iman, fire. She, she, she should have opened the show. Victoria and Eva, fire. A war, stunning. Oh, and this gag. Kate Moss giving us smooth, sexy, and serving face. I, I loved it. I loved it. People say that she looked out of place, and those those people are wrong. If you want to talk about out of place, you must be talking about Carla Bruni, because no, sorry, what was that about? No. And love Bella, love her, but she has to decide whether she's going to smile or she's going to be sexy serious, because it, it's funny seeing her flip in between both. Also, I laughed when I saw Andrea Diakonu finally on the show because real ones know that she used to do the casting every year in the past, but they never gave it to her. So it was hilarious when I saw her. Like, good for her. She finally got it. And where was Jasmine Wignaldum? Like, how did she not book the show? Like, she must fire her agent. Oh, and there was another gag that I want to talk about. Miss Rian Bonron Pie. Like, my mouth hit, my jaw hit the floor when I saw her. She was one of those models that I always wanted to see her here, but I doubted that they would ever cast her because why would they? But they did, and they gave her two outfits. I was so happy about it. And speaking about two outfits, I truly hate this current trend uh, in the industry in general about models only getting one outfit i'm sorry are models charging for the amount of outfits they have to wear because somebody explain it to me please bring back two to three outfit changes please overall the lineup was good as i said i don't i don't get why they didn't market it people literally were finding out who were walking just hours before the show I will agree that some of the models didn't bring that classic Victoria's Secret energy, but the runway and the clothes themselves weren't bringing that energy either in the first place. So I, I don't know what you wanted them to do. They did what they, what they could. So overall, I, I think the brand is still trying to figure it out their new identity and how they want to be perceived. Uh, this show reminded me of those late 90s VS shows when the brand was still building up their image so they kind of tried to go back to basics with this one they were testing the waters for sure if people still care and i i think they do i, I still care about victoria's secret but I, I know it's gonna take them a bit to rebuild themselves into those glory days but in a new way that that feels modern to this era i, I don't think they're gonna get it right next year either <laughs> but but it's a new beginning. Yeah, I want to stay positive. Uh, 
I want to say positive because I, I grew up watching this show. Uh, my whole channel started because of this show, because of Victoria's Secret. And I miss the glitter. I do. So I hope they find it back soon. So that was my review of the show. Uh, I hope I didn't offend any fandom or anything like that. I, just, I don't care either way, but, uh, but I hope I didn't. Please like this video and comment if you like the show. If you didn't like the show, you can tell me all in the comments. So until the next round, I guess.